Hello everybody. Let us look in this video as to what Sobel edge detection is. Sobel edge detection uses two types of gradients in the x direction and y direction. Thus, cv2.sobel is used twice for Sobel x and Sobel y. To detect edges, what we have to do is take the first derivative to find the change in color intensity. To be more graphical, for instance, I have a 1D image. The edge will be shown by the jump of this line, like this. So this is the edge. Now if we take the first derivative of it, what I get is a dash of t as this. Or we just located a pixel where the gradient is higher than its neighbors. So to frame it in words, this is a differentiator operator and computes an approximation of the gradient of an image. It combines Gaussian smoothening and differentiation. So what happens inside Sobel operator is a very simple thing. Let us consider we have an image I. The horizontal changes would be convolving I with kernel GX and vertical changes can be found by convolving I with the kernel gy. Kernel gx and gy are 3 cross 3 kernels which I'll just draw over here. gx is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, star i. And for the vertical changes, gy is equal to this thing. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, star i. By combining the above got results, that is gx and gy, so gx square plus gy square, the whole square root, is the common value of g. To make this equation simpler, many a times, what we use is g is equal to mod of gx plus mod of gy directly. Also, there is a twist in the inbuilt function. If the kernel size is 3, Sobel is not used, but a different operator named Shar is used. In Shar, what we have is all the 1s are replaced by 3 and all the 2s are replaced by 10. This gives a more accurate result. So enough of theory. Now let's jump onto the code for Sobel operator. Importing CV2 and importing NumPy as NP are the same previous steps. We'll use uh, a plotting library called matplotlib to showcase the plots of the images of Sobel. So I'll read my image from this command, cv2.im read. I'm taking an image of a Sodoku because it has horizontal and vertical both the lines. Storing Sodoku image in the variable called img. Laplacian is used to take the derivative of the image to find the high intensity and the low intensity or the gradient of the image. Once that is done, as I told you, we'll differentiate with respect to the x-axis and the y-axis. So Sobel x and Sobel y. Here I've selected the kernel size as 3, which can be changed. Another modifiable parameter is this cv underscore 64 f, which can again be changed. That's all. Now I'll be plotting four different plots over here. The first plot is the original image. The second is taking the Laplacian of it or the first derivative. Sobel x is this one and Sobel y over here. So in short, Sobel x and Sobel y can be combined together to detect accurate edges over the image. So that brings us to an end for another edge detector called Sobel. Stay tuned, Robometrics.